Hello, all, and welcome to Cash Canada's uh, Cash Canada Chats. It's uh, time to get started with a second edition of uh, Fine Tuning a Road Trip or Creating a Road Trip with Search and Lists. And we're just, I'm just looking over at my monitor over my shoulder to see how we are progressing over there. And uh, we want to make sure that everything is, oh, we're good. Okay, I can see myself and it's all looking good. And uh, how is everybody today? Lloyd Baker, hi, how you doing? Waiting. He's not waiting any longer. Uh, it's good to see everybody. Uh, good. I'm gonna, just going to type in the chat there. There we go. Um, so last week, what we did was um, we talked about, or I talked about, a... Um, creating a, uh, a road trip using the uh, search tool from geocaching and lists and then uh, building up a, a, um, a road trip from that and uh, we just want I'm gonna bring that up uh, we're going to stop this I'm going to share the screen we'll go here and there we go so what we used was this screen here. Uh, if uh, anybody that has uh, started geocaching, I know there's probably a lot of people out there, and uh, there's some way that you can tell um, there. You can tell that someone has not. Oh, if you go on their statistics page, you can tell if someone has not yet gone on to the actual geocaching webpage. Um, so this is a, a good resource and one of the good reasons for going to a premium uh, account. Um, second Monday. Yes, it's a yes. It's coming a, a blurs day. Um, luckily, uh, I go back to work in about a week and a half, uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to the new restrictions, but hey, it's good to good to be back and uh, doing great. You had a snowstorm. Oh my gosh, uh, Ben Rat had a snowstorm. Ben Rat had a snowstorm. Whew. Oh, I don't know. Um, Anyway, yeah, sent. Oh, okay. I have to check my email. Ben Rat sent me a, some information on the email. So yeah, you can tell if someone is starting out that they have not visited the geocaching website yet, um, and it's a, a good uh, resource to go through. You can create. Uh, you can look for geocaches. Um, you can get all kinds of information. And if you become a, a premium member, which only costs, I think it's thirty-five or forty dollars a month. I actually think I need to read it. No, I no, I read it. Um, you can create so much more, and you can see so much more on your um, on, on your profile if you become a member. It's so much much better. Hello, Julie from Ottawa. Got your entry. Hello, Houston, Texas, Dave. Uh, glad to hear you. I'm glad to hear. I'm going back to work too. Although I didn't mind being off, but uh, I don't like being off this way because. Um, I deleted myself. I could delete the screen. Um, I, I, it's the freedom isn't there to be able to go. We we do go geocaching. Uh, we're very careful about it. Uh, we we're very selective. And basically, we just take the dog for a walk and find you know four or five, maybe a, a half a dozen. And we try not to go too far from home, uh, you know, because there still is a state of emergency in Ontario, and the premier has just extended it to June second. Um, they're not wanting to lift the restrictions too quickly like some places are and uh, resulting in some uh, unfortunate rise in, in stats but we won't we're not here to talk about the coronavirus we're here to talk about uh, making a road trip uh, Karen Warner hello how are you doing wow all the way from Georgetown uh, I still need to finish that uh, credit river caching group there I have a few places I haven't did um, yeah, Tom had a, a, a class, probably it was at a Geo Woodstock, about uh, becoming a premium member. Yep. So, and yeah, and there was something, I think, um, Neil Moore might have posted something, and I didn't even, oh, it was on a, we did a, um, um, a game with the geocaching vlogger and see my show. Uh, it was, a, it was a, a trivia game on geocaching, and there was something I didn't even know. I, I can't remember what it is now, but it was um, something about um, 
and a, not a premier member, but something else. Anyway, it doesn't matter, seeing as I can't remember what it is. Uh, so we're going to dive into uh, what we talked about before. Uh, so we're going to get rid of this. We're going to bring up um, the road trip that we had done. Uh, actually, this is one we were talking about this last week. Uh, here we go. We're going to share this with you. Uh, this is the road trip I had created for Route 66. So it, what we had talked about on last week's episode was creating a road trip for um, for a going from uh, the Michigan border to uh, Oklahoma City. And that's basically uh, in the area on the right-hand side of the screen. And... We added uh, we added some items to it, but this is one that I had done just before that broadcast. So this is a fully created, based on just Route 66 item. Uh, sorry, uh, for giving me an idea of actually where Route 66 is. I think if I cut my cell phone, I, I totally delete myself off the channel. Um, okay, so I'm learning as we go. I hope I'm getting better. Uh, so what we did was, yeah, we created that road trip, and now we know from that map where Route 66 is. So if we go back to um, the search screen. I'm going to show you what we did. A bit, kind of a highlight of what we did last week. Okay, so there's the, the search screen. So uh, what we want to do? Let's. I'm going to give you just a, an example here. Um, let's say um, Oklahoma. Okay, Oak, Oak, Oklahoma. Yeah, I'm, I don't need to finish typing the whole thing because I can see it comes up down here where it says Oklahoma United States Regional Search. So I'm just going to click that. And I can see from what's listed that there are 14,413 uh, caches in the state. Okay, so, but I don't want to know all of them. All I want to do is I want to filter these. Okay, so I'm going to bring up the filter option. I don't need, when we're doing a whole state, you don't need to worry about the distance, which is in the top left. If, for example, you are, um, if you're wanting to know from your local area, the city, let's say I, 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 we live in London, Ontario, I want to go caching in London, so I would just click London, Ontario. It would give me 16 kilometers, but let's say I want to know something further away than 16 kilometers, not just the, the center core of the city. I want to know, I want to go for 50 kilometers, so show me everything. That's where you would, um, that's where you would add in the distance, but in a whole state, you don't need to add the distance. So right now, um, we had what we talked about last week, basically is all the caches right there. And then down here on the bottom, I want to see everything that has greater than 200 favorite points. Okay, so it's going to give me a whole list. So we have eight. If I map those, um, what it will do is it will show me all of them. And then what I can do is I can take the route that we were going to go on. Uh, say Route 66 or to Oklahoma City, I can pick ones that are high favorite points within uh, the area that's close to the road that we're going on. Okay, so another thing that we can do, uh, okay, yeah. another thing that we can do in uh, cache things we talked about last week, we're going to get rid of that. You got to make sure when you change things that you clear stuff, otherwise um, you're going to miss something. I'm just going to go back and I'm going to check the comments. Um, you have to do Route 66 at least once. Yes, I, we hope to do it within the next couple of years. I would actually like to do it this fall, but I don't think that's going to happen. They won't even let us in the country. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. Uh, so we're going to go back to the, uh, uh, we're going to go back to the search. And um, we can deselect everything. And what I can do then is I can look for, just show me uh, all the virtuals. So if I did that and I updated the search, uh, it would then show me every virtual. And if I mapped that, and mapping that is on the right-hand side right here where I'm making it green, um, that would show you uh, the map. So if I click that, we'll get on a different tab and you won't even see it. 
So um, we can go back here. We can select all or deselect all again. Select all. Let's say I, I don't want to know about where it goes. Um, I, I don't want to know about uh, webcams. I don't want any events. So I can just select those, do a search on that. Or if I'm on a road trip and I don't want, I can deselect all, just show me the traditionals. That's all I want to do. I don't want anything complicated or just show me your traditionals and earth caches. You can do it that way. Okay, so other things you can do. Oops, we need to select all again. So show me um, all, let's say I've been to Oklahoma before. I haven't, but let's say we have. Just show me everything I haven't found. And that will, my name will show up in this box. If, uh, if you're with somebody, so we can type in uh, Lyric Class. You want to make sure before you, you hit enter, you want to see that the symbol of the person that you know is there. So if Lear class had been to Oklahoma before me, uh, she hadn't. It had happened, though, in uh, Prince Edward Island. She had been caching there before I got there. Um, and let's say uh, uh, we're going with um, the Sparky, the Spark, the Sparks crew, which you've seen in some uh, videos. We can go and put in uh, Sparky 500 and then uh, Sparkle. Show up. So now I'm going to do a search on every cache that we've all not found. So it won't give us caches that we've all done together. So you can do that. You can also change it by difficulty. If, if you want to see, I just want easy ones. You know, just I'm I'm just going to drive through Oklahoma. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop for a whole lot. Just show me the one ones. Let's say I'm or I'm on a uh, uh, I'm on a looking for a challenge. There is a challenge in Ontario for 500 uh, one, one caches. I was working on it for a while, but uh, after a while, I actually was targeting a lot of one ones. Anytime I saw one when I went there, so I'm way over one ones now. So, but I still have to sign the challenge. So we're gonna do that at some point. Um, David Stokes, this could be handy. Uh, there we go. Um, I have to go to Strathroy, to Wawa, months end. Yes, you can also. Unfortunately, you can't do it in the search, but you can. You can also do a um, uh, a pocket query for a, a route. You can create a route, and then you can you can change the parameters of the route and just show caches within like five or ten miles or kilometers of um, of that route, and and then. And then you can map it from there. It's just a little, it's a little tricky. Maybe I'll do another broadcast on doing that. It's just how I do it. Uh, greetings from Alabama. It's always oh, awesome. We were just down there in videos. Actually, Saturday's video, uh, we're in Alabama. And look for that one. Uh, Janet Yu, good evening. All right, wow, look at this. We're already quarter past the hour. Okay, where were we going to go back here? And we are going to show you. So yeah, you, and if you do uh, change things again, make sure you change things back. And you can you can target caches for a specific rating as well. So I, if I'm if I'm needing on my uh, fizzy grid, a uh, I'm low on a three three and a half. I can change this to specifically a three three and a half, and I make sure everything else is set. Yeah, let's go here. I'm going to update the search. Okay, there's 156. Uh, caches that are rated as a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so I'm going to change the uh, filter here. This is one actually I need. Um, a three, no. Four and, a, four and a half. This is one I'm really low on. Four and a half, three and a half. See how many there are. Search. Okay, there's 10. And I'm looking at, oh, well, what? This one right here, if you can see, we like the tougher ones challenge. That is something that we target when we go on a road trip to get that fizzy grid square filled. You can use a challenge cache to give it to you. So you can click on that and, uh, oh, can we see that? Uh, yes, we can. There you go. So we can look at the... Uh, the challenge and whatever if we qualify for it and we can even do that unless it takes us to another tab oh i think we're good yes we're good all right so i can run the checker and see if i qualify whatever the challenge is i qualify for it so i could just take that that cash and add it to our list if it's on our route and then we can increase our, our fizzy grid square by that one so, yeah, Tom, you love this new cert? Yeah, it's been around for a while. Um, it was a 
premium feature, I think, or a test phase at, at some point. But um, yeah, Tom, I used to do pocket queries all the time and I don't do them much anymore. There's only a few things that I do them for now is, is basically um, routes. If I want to create a quick route down a specific road um, and what what you can do with that. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Um, Oh, I'm going to get you back here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, so if I go to here, so you click on your name and you go down here. Oh, this is the old, um, this is the old uh, dashboard. Um, I don't know how to do it on the new one, but if I, I have kind of used it, but I'm kind of stuck on the old one. Um, so hopefully, so build pocket queries. Um, you can create, uh, find caches along a route on that one. And uh, if you click on that, uh, it'll take you to another tab. And then basically you're using a map feature to set uh, your, your beginning point, say um, Seattle, Washington to Vancouver, British Columbia. And then uh, you, you then go through the parameters on that and create um, a route along that map road and then you can specify um, caches that are only enabled, uh, show me just old ones, um, traditionals, whatever, you can you can change it all. That's how we, uh, uh, Karen and I, completed our fizzy grid because we did routing and we wanted to know all caches along the route. We did, uh, the year we started really looking at our, our fizzy grid, we did two trips to Maryland and one to Indiana. And I asked for all caches from 2000, December of 2001 and lower uh, to May of 2000. And then anything within five miles of the highway. And uh, basically we took a six hour drive from the, from London to Maryland and we turned it into a 12 hour drive looking for caches. <laughs> Uh, and Lloyd says, uh, remember, once you create a cache along a road, you have one chance to fine tune it as you see it. Yes, that's correct. Okay. You like the old, yeah, I like the old one too. I've, I, I did try to, um, uh, go to the new dashboard. I know cash drone with his new video series. Um, he's trying to show the more updated version of it. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do is I'll, I'll kind of play with uh, the old version, the new version and see the differences and maybe do a video for that. So, okay, where are we going with this issue? Okay, so we're going to take you to, uh, can we get rid of that? Um, hang with me here. Hang with me for a sec. Um, we're going to bring it back there. Bring it back here. Okay, so. All right, so we need the other tab. We need to bring you to that. Let's see, is that the one that we need? Um, yes, there we go. All right, so this should be uh, the route, all right? Yes, okay, so uh, this is uh, uh, the route for Route 66. Now, what I wanted to show you was this is, uh, if we look at the caches that are listed on here, um, and this is a public list, um, I will put that in the description of the video uh, for later. And if anybody does want it, just uh, send me a note and I'll send it off to you. Um, all the caches that were listed, um, you usually most of them have something that says um, Route 66 in the name. Of course, this is their uh a touch of Route 66. If it doesn't have Route 66 in the name, it's because I picked it from a video uh, series that I was watching. It was a, a, lo a long video. It was about two and a two hours long. It was a father and son that that drove Route 66 from uh, Los Angeles to uh, Chicago. I posted it on our Cash Canada Facebook page, and what I did was I followed the video along. And anytime he mentioned a, a, a garage or a restaurant or a hotel or a sign, I would try to find it on Google Maps, Street View. And then I would try to locate a, the ca a cache that would probably be near that, uh, that item. In addition, on this route, um, I did know um, there are some uh, sites that are popular, um, like a, a certain roadside attraction. 
So what I want to show you now is fine tuning this road trip. So this is basically Route 66, but I have in, uh, I'm gonna bring you back to the search feature. Okay. And then uh, I have in my list. So we, uh, when you wanna go to your lists, it's on the top right, you click your name and go to uh, lists. So now you can see all the different uh, lists that I have. Um, there's Route 66. Um, now this is one that I've created that I would recommend that uh, if you if you aren't doing it already, um, oh, there you go, I was able to get your Route 66. Yeah, if you go onto my uh, profile page for London Westie, you'll find it at the very bottom. It's, it's listed as public, so you can copy that list. And then if I add something, you can copy it again, or you can, you can tailor that list. Once you copy it into your own, um, and you can uh, you can tailor that to your to your own needs or what you want. If you don't want earth caches, take them all out. You delete them. Well, I'll show you that too. That was one thing we needed to, to fine tune. But where were we at? Okay. So here we are with the list. This is something that I created and that uh, I think other people have. But I would highly recommend is interesting caches to bookmark. So with that. Um, here is a, it's just a complete list. Every time I, I'm on Facebook and I see a cache listed, and but it's not close to home. So I'm like, I'm not going to go out and get it, or I'm not going to remember pretty much where it is. But it's like, wow, that is awesome. Like um, uh, Annie Love, uh, she, she, if anybody knows who she is, uh, Mia Wallace, uh, she does a lot of travel and she finds some really amazing caches and some really uh, cool locations. So I'll, I'll look at somebody will ask, what's the GC? You know, so I'll copy that down and I'll put it into this list. Okay. So I'm going to show you how did, how do you do that? Let's see. Okay. That's not going to work. Um, I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to view the map so we can see. Okay. So, this cache right here, I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. But let's say this cache that I'm looking Oh, hold on. Got a bit. There we go. So this cache right here, I don't know. Let's click on There you go. Break time. Um, this is a very good cache for our area if you are in London. It has 117 favorite points. I think it might be the uh, most favorited cache in our city. Um, so. Uh, what I'm going to do is let's say uh, this was a cache that was in Oklahoma, and, but I, I never heard of it before. I didn't know about this cache, but it sounded really cool. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to find it. I'm going to uh, say I'm looking at the uh, uh, shoot. That's a different thing. So, okay. So I see it on the map and I could just add this to a list. Well, what, at, what, what list am I going to add it to? I can add it to anything. I can create a new list. So let's say I'm, it's interesting caches to bookmark. So I've added it. You can see the green check mark. It's now part of that list. So that's uh, something that would, would be really helpful in creating a bookmark list. Okay, so what we need to do now is go to, go to our lists. And I'm going to go back to the one we were working on. Uh, last week. So I'm going to map that and then I'm hopefully I'm going to get back to it if I can share that particular screen. I hope I get the right one. Let's see. Is that the one I want? Yes. Okay. All right. So this is the road trip we were working on last week. So you can see uh, I'm most likely I'm going to be coming in either here are probably on this road trip, I think it was coming down this way from Toledo to Fort Wayne. And in order to get to uh, Oklahoma City uh, within a timely matter, I'm going to the first webcam of Oklahoma um, that I was just gonna go straight down. But you can see, I added a cache over here. That would mean I would have to go down here and then down. And I might decide, no, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> That's just, it's just not, not going to happen. Um, unfortunately, they don't have a tab where it says remove uh, from list here, unless somebody can tell me otherwise. Um, 
what I need to do is to go to, so with that, what can that cache is Lily Tomlin, okay? So I'm going to go back to uh, the search feature, my lists, there we go, okay. So I'm going to go to the Oklahoma road trip. I'm just gonna click on it. And then I'm going to look for Lily Tomlin. Uh, that's gonna be difficult. There it is, right there. So I'm just gonna click that and I'm going to delete that one from the list. Am I showing you that? Yes, okay. Yes, delete that cache. So if I run the, if I run the map again, it'll show me that uh, road trip without having um, uh, Lily Tomlin in there. I, I love Lily Tomlin, but you know, I'm sorry, I'm not going there. Yeah, Tom, hey Tom, I hope that we get to Midwest Geobash 2. Hopefully uh, the border is opened up. Um, I haven't booked anything for that one yet, but I'm really, really hoping to go. And then uh, Karen Waters, so I've been tracking interesting caches ever since I started watching your videos. Awesome. That's awesome. That's great. That's cool. Um, yes, remove it from your list. There we go. So we removed that one from our list. And then uh, what we need to do now, what was I going to talk about next? Oh, I know what we need to do. Coming up right now, we are going to show you um, the Spot the Cache contest. Some of you have come here for that. Spot the cache. We just got to figure out which one it's on. Oh, I'm going to share. Stop. I'm going to share. Spot the cache is F9. Uh, right there. Share. There we go. So this was the picture that we had on, um, um, on our Cache Canada Facebook page. And you needed to find the cash and actually when i originally took the picture it was really hard to see uh, we spent about 15 minutes looking for this cash but when i created the grid it was really easy but i'm like that's okay uh, it was just a way to uh to get you guys to play to actually earn something so there you go the cash is right here it is a uh, um, we call it an acorn bison uh, they're really, really, really tiny. Um, they're about oh, that, that little. It's like two little pieces of metal, and they go together. And, and usually, they come in either gold or green or black. Um, so, so there you go. It's in square number fifteen. Everybody got it that entered, and we had quite a few uh, entries for that um, in the contest. So, we're going to run that right now. Let's see here. Okay, so we're going to copy this. I think I got this right. I'll go over here. And paste that. There we go. Okay. So we're going to bring you over to the wheel of names. There we go. We're going to share that. All right, we're at the Wheel of Names. Now, these are all of the names of everyone who uh, sent in an entry. Yeah, so we, it was awesome. Every like So many people. Oops. There, there we go. So many people entered. I was just amazed. And also the one on Instagram. Uh, so many people uh, entered that one as well. I am so pleased with all the entries that everybody, uh, everybody uh, sent in. Excuse me, I need a drink. All right. So we are going to uh, spin the wheel and find out uh, who uh, who won the Spot the Cash. Oh, uh, spot the Cash on Instagram. No, that's not right. Spot the Cash. Delete. There we go. Who uh, won? Who's going to win the spot? The cash wheel of geocachers. That's right. That's right. They the wheel of geocachers. Oh, look at that! Lily Tomlin graduated from the same high school as my dad. 
Uh, she graduated 10 years before him, so they were not there at the same time. Oh, that's really cool. That's awesome, Cyber Husky. Cool. And she had um, the coolest um, uh, path tag we ever found in a cache uh, when we were doing uh, Grand Eel, I think it is, in, in Michigan, just, just outside of Detroit. Oh, looks like a, a puzzle that you used to have, Tom. That's awesome. I wish I could make this into a puzzle. That would be really, really cool. Okay, so we're going to go and uh, we're going to spin the wheel to see who won. And I just have to click. There we go. Who's going to win it? Who is going to be the winner? Here we go. Ah, there you go. Kevin Springsteen is the winner. Copy that. And we go over here. Yay. And we'll add, whoops. Spot the cash winner. Kevin Springsteen. Save. There you go. Congratulations, Kevin. You won a Cash Canada uh, trackable tag. And there's one of them right here. Uh, one of these colorful cash canada tags which are going out in the mail right now to our patrons uh, all that stack of mail is right behind me you can see it on the desk right there it's a whole pile of mail that i just have to finish sorting through all right so congrats there you go congrats i'm sorry to everybody that didn't win try again we'll keep doing these contests if you love these contests we'll keep going i have uh, not only this bag of uh, trackables we also have uh, half of a box. We got brand new path tags, uh, and uh, if we can, if we can uh, get things to give away, we'll give more stuff away. All right. So back to uh, we're going to do the uh, the draw for the Instagram contest, which was fun for one of our older uh, tags. Oh, no, I lost it. There, here, it's here somewhere. There you go. This was one of our, our first generation uh, tags that we had made up by IB Geocaching. It's a little dog tag with a Cache Canada symbol on it. And then on the back, it says, uh, where will geocaching take you? So I was cleaning my desk and I found it behind my computer. It's a bag of eight of them. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. So we thought we'll give two of those away. So on that contest, if you were on Instagram, what we did was um, all you had to do was like the picture, uh, follow Cash Canada on Instagram, and tag one person. And if you tagged that person and you were picked, they would win as well. All right. So it wasn't just, oh, my gosh, I don't like tagging someone because some people feel uncomfortable about that. I understand. Um, so anyway, we're going to take you back to um, the cash page, Oklahoma Road Trip. Yes. We'll do that. Okay. Oklahoma road trip. So we have our caches. If you look for Lily Tomlin, again, she'll be gone. Um, and what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to show you a list. Okay. So uh, we were talking about uh, the favorite caches. That's where we were. So we're going to go to the list. Interesting caches to bookmark. I'm going to map that. Uh, I'm going to bring that up. Uh, Going to click right here is a map. These are different things that you can do. You can just click on them. I send to your Garmin. I've never I tried that once. It didn't work. Um, share. You can share it without making it public, um, and you can copy the list as well. So I'm going to map this list, and I'm going to uh, remove this, and we're going to get rid of that banner. Okay, and um, I'm going to bring you that page. Because I think I'm, yes, okay. Hang tight with me here. Uh, I'll bring that up here. Uh, that right there, I hope that's it. Yes, okay. So this is um, my list of interesting caches to bookmark. Every time I see something cool, I, uh, I will add it to this list. Now, what I wanted to show you was, now that I know where the Route 66 uh, route is, so it's from Chicago through Springfield, St. Louis, down into Springfield, Tulsa, 
and then across Oklahoma City to Amarillo. What I would do is I would look at caches that are in that rough. If I don't think I'm going to be in that area again anytime soon, I would add it. Unless um, the Route 66, you, you, you don't want to, I, well, I wouldn't, but you don't want to deviate too much from that road trip because you're on, well, for us, uh, we would be videoing, so we were we are, we will be on a specific uh, mission to bring you the adventure of going uh, down and geocaching um, Route 66. But this cache right here, if I click on that, it has 222 favorite points. It was uh, something that was really cool. I can't remember what it was, but if you took a look at the cache page, looked at the pictures, and you go, oh, that's absolutely what I want. So I can, because I know uh, that I would like it, it would it would definitely be one that would be good. Um, just for now, I'm going to add it to Route 66. As we saw, you can always take it away. You can always get rid of it. So I'm going to go down here. And in St. Louis, there's one here. You say tomato, I say tomato, tomato, tomato. Uh, it's a one one. There was something cool about. It. I can't remember, so I'm gonna add that one. And if once I start um, even finer tuning this one, um, I can see whether that it will work or not. So I can always get rid of it. Um, two two and a half with 99 favorite points. We're gonna add that to the list. Uh, route 66. Hopefully I did that. Sometimes you'll add it to, um, yeah, I've done this many times, uh, sometimes you'll add it uh, to the wrong list and you'll pull up a list and you go, what's that doing there? But then as we've seen, it's uh, it's easy to go. Uh, David Stokes, uh, see you, uh, talking about Chief Scout, awesome. And uh, catch us later, uh, you can always come back, uh, catch us later. Uh, oh, Jose Blackburn, cool, awesome. Good to have you here. Uh, back to where we were. Okay, so if we continue down here, you can see um, this one probably, it might be a little bit too far out of the way because you've got to come down here and go up. <clears throat> but if you're going to do um, an area in, a, in the area, uh, then you'll, you'll, you'll do it another way, and I'll show you that, in a, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Here's one, it's, it's well, this is actually, it's already on... Um, the route for Route 66 because you drive right by it is the Cadillac Ranch. I, we haven't been in that part of Texas yet. I've been in Texas twice, uh, but not there. So I could add that to list, but it's already there. An unfortunate part about this, it doesn't tell you what's on that list yet. Like it would be nice if it would highlight if it was already on the list, but it's I know it's already there. In the video for Route 66, um, they had uh, highlighted that. Now, one of the things we were looking at was, uh, do we fly or do we drive to Chicago um, and then uh, drive to Los Angeles and then fly back? And we, we discussed that and we said no. So what we would then do is create another road trip going home on a different way, which we'd probably go up through Las Vegas and not been get this one here, which is a, um, a really, really cool earth cache. And then from there, go through and probably pick up that one. Uh, Mafia the challenge, uh, D5, T5, it's uh, Memphis Mafia. Uh, he had, he's on Geocache Talk, and uh, that would be one that I've wanted to add, just because it's his. So, um, if you look at the row, if you look at the, the route, um, uh, what I don't do, I did this once and then I had to retract it. Uh, when, when we went going south, uh, the, the videos that are running right now going uh, down to Mississippi and back, um, I added caches within a city. And this is going to mess some, this can mess something up when you try to do what I'm going to show you in a, in a bit after, our, after we run our next contest. Um, what you want to do is create a separate list just for that city or a pocket query. Um, probably uh, we would stay when we drove to St. Louis. Uh, we've been th uh, through St. Louis once, I think, um, but very, very quickly. We went to see the arch. It was cordoned off. We got our picture for the virtual and we went to a farmer's market and got a couple other caches nearby there and then we left because we were on our way somebody else. I would probably add this as a day stop so we drive to St. Louis, 
uh, whenever we got to St. Louis, we would stay there for an entire day, so two nights, and then I would create a separate list just for St. Louis. If you don't, when if you take this list into Cash Tour, which we're going to dis discuss before the hour's up, um, it creates a monstrous list that is really hard to deal with. Um, and then uh, you just you, you create more problems for yourself. So uh, the same thing too, if we go, I'm prob I'd probably stop in Springfield uh, to go and look for some stuff about Abraham Lincoln because his uh, uh, grave is there. Uh, Amarillo, the same thing. I'll probably create a, a bunch of different cash stops along the way. Uh, so there. Um, what we're going to bring up next is another another contest. So um, for this con, oh wait, do you want to print your list once you know where you are going? Yes, uh, Janet. We're going to talk about that when we get to cash tour. Uh, you can uh, you can print your list. Uh, you can copy it and paste it into a Word document. Well, it looks kind of, it looks really goofy. Um, I've done that uh, early on, but there's another way that you can do this, and I'll show you that in a bit. So we are going to go back to um, the Wheel of Names, and this is, just let me have to reset it, please. Okay, here we go. Just going to copy and paste this. All right, there we go. Oops. Oh, shoot. There we go, okay. All right, so uh, we need to go to um, spot the cash. No, nope. win the cash. And that is on this tab over here, and it's Okla. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That one? No. That one? No. Let's hope it's that one. There we go. Share. All right. So on Instagram, uh, because I had found uh, this bag of uh, older tags, um, I put this on Instagram and we had an, a smashing response. I've had some contests that I've put up uh, for Cash Canada that did not go anywhere. And uh, whoever won those were, were like really lucky because there was like five people competing. Uh, but this one, there was a huge response. Um, I had to make sure I kept, uh, kept track and kept writing them down, keeping track of them. So um, all you needed to do on this one was follow. Uh, Cash Canada on Instagram, uh, like the picture, and uh, tag someone. And if the person that you tagged, uh, or sorry, if you win, the person that you tagged also wins. And sometimes what people would, what those that were got tagged would do is um, uh, they would tag the person that tagged them. So if they won, the person that tagged them would win as well. So they, they helped each other. So you had two chances to, to win. Um, so we're going to bring you to uh, the Wheel of Names again. Here we go. The Wheel of Names. All right. We got all of the contestants into the Wheel of Names. And this is the response. So we have listed is the person uh, who right up here on the top right. So this person right here uh, tagged this person right here and so forth. So um we're ready to rock. All we have to do is click to spin. And here we go. Who's going to win? There we go. The spinner's spinning. Oh, there you go. LJ Tinney and Shelly Ramond. They are actually um, from Ontario. Um, congratulations. I'm just going to copy that down win me there we go um, and I'm going to oops there we go congratulations on that win uh, LJTE and uh, Shelly Ramond um, actually uh, LJ Tinney who just won that yes there we go LJ Tinney who just won that um, had the Paris uh, adventure lab that we did for uh, a video and Shelly Ramond she does a is coach 1313 or 
13 coach 13 uh, she does a an event every year um, it's the hides of march and they'll hide caches around the uh, around that time of year that's just awesome so there you go we have uh, our, our winners done we still need okay we're gonna we're gonna let you search on this and if i see the answer i will go and go for it i need to know let's see here uh, go to youtube go to my channel and of course i'm not showing you this um i need to know we're gonna go to my videos um, Let's see here. Uh, uh, okay, let me see here. Okay. Uh, in our uh, video series from Going South so far, uh, you better start following on Instagram. Yep. Occasionally, we do have uh, 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 contests on Instagram. And some uh, things that we post are only on Instagram, and then they don't show up anywhere else. Um, so here is the question for our online right now uh, question. We're gonna, I'm going to create a banner for you so you can see it. Um, what couple... Semi famous. We there we go. What couple a uh, semi famous geocaching? couple did we geocache with in Georgia during our uh, going south road trip which is still running by the way um, there's a couple of uh, episodes coming up uh, Wednesday is an episode from that trip and Saturday is another episode from that trip and you'll see episodes all the way into June from that road trip uh, it was not Willie Tomlin <laughs> So this is a, a couple, they're about our age, and um, they have been in other geocaching videos besides ours, uh, and they actually appeared in two. Um, and we did a, a, there you go, Cyber Husky. I think if anybody else gets it, that's it. Cyber Husky wins it. We'll write that down. Uh, get in touch with me at londonwesty at gmail.com, Cyber Husky, and we'll get in touch with you. There you go. I'm going to write that down. There you go. Okay. And, oh, you're, this was a good one. Um, we did not, uh, three half of campers, we did not cash with them in Georgia on this trip. Um, so there you go. And uh, Houston, Texas, Dave, you also got it. But I'm pretty sure if I'm scrolling and it looks correct, Cyber Husky got there first. Sorry, Dave. Uh, but you won last week, so there you go. Um, so, yeah, great job. Uh, three Happy Campers. That's actually, uh, I am just working on the video for us finding my cash in Tennessee that they hid for me. And so that'll be coming up, I think, next Wednesday. Uh, I can't remember what's tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, that's coming up. Three Happy Campers. There you go. All right. All um, right. We'll get rid of that okay so fine-tuning a road trip we're going to get rid of this we need to go now to um, once you have created your road trip um, let's see we're gonna go here okay so uh, we, we've created, we've added our, our other caches. We're going to go through this list. Um, there's another uh, list that I can go through. I'll tell you is um, I have a list of 
uh, earth caches. If you've watched our videos, you know that we're in, in search of earth caches with a specific ratings. Um, I've, I've consulted that list too for the roads, Route 66. I think there might be uh, one, maybe two that are close enough on that drive or uh, the, the drive back to Ontario from that where we'll add that. And you always want to make sure you consult those lists that you've created so that you don't get back home and go, oh, I was within 10 miles of that cache. And, I, you know, you don't want to have that happen. So thanks. We'll send the email soon. Awesome. Congratulations. Um, you're good to go. And yes. Okay. So we're going to take you to... Um, we're going to take you to, here we go, cash tour. Okay. So we're going to, right now, I'm just going to uh, sign out. Okay. So this is what it looks like uh, when you uh, when you come into the cash tour. I, I say cash tour, but it's cash tour. I don't know. Um, cash tour dot no. So that's, that's the address. If you type that in, cashtour.no, that's what you'll get. Um, so I'm going to log in. So I, you, basically, when you sign up, you'll use your same uh, login. And I used the same password uh, as uh, my geocaching account just to make it easier. So we sign in. Then you'll get um, um, this, basically, this main page. So what I can do is... Um, you go up here where it says trips. I've already created Route 66, but I want to show you how that actually was created. So I'm going to create a new trip. It's This is a lot of stuff on this cash tour. I don't know at all. Um, this is uh, something fairly new to me. I've used it uh, for about a year and a half, but I only use it on really long distance trips that have a lot Um uh, a lot of caches to do. So uh, I'm going to rename this one something different. Uh, road trip uh, route 66. Um, and, what, and then what you can see on the red, a little t uh, asterisk there, these are things you have to fill out. So this is a car trip. Uh, what's the destination? Uh, it's Los Angeles. California. Uh, let's say I'm going to start this one um, August 1st, and I'm going to end it um, the 31st. The time zone, I think I'm flying Chicago. There you go, Chicago. Okay, so I don't, you have to have that. I don't know about this. You can say time not is not decided. Um, so the time that you pick will be ignored. Um time zone we're going to change that again to chicago because that's where we're starting from uh duration you don't have to put that in length you don't you can you, you can put in notes uh here as well so you're going to check the comments um yeah how much how much time uh do i spend building a road trip a lot um the going south road trip i, I work i i play with it. it it's a it's it, because geocaching is a hobby and i love uh, geography I love maps. I love mapping, and um, it's just it. it uh, I use it as an entertainment tool, so I will um, play with it. Uh, some a few hours a night, or like I would work on it for half an hour. I'll just keep playing with it and fine tuning and fine tuning and fine tuning until I get um, to where I want it to be. Um, get rid of that. Okay, there. Time isn't decided. Uh, makes an undated draft for planning. Awesome. Thank you, Paul. There's another of our patrons right there. He has a new new tidy. And I just wanted to bring that up. If anybody was interested in becoming a patron of Cash Canada, we would really love that. We've just taken on three. Uh, Patreon.com backslash Cash Canada. And we have, I think, four or five levels starting at $3 a month. And uh, it just helps us to offset some expenses for uh, camera equipment, editing software, things like that. 
Uh, okay, so we go down here. Maximum number of people. It's just going to be two. And then uh, uh, we ignore all that. So we're going to save that trip. Okay. Um, once I have that saved, there's really nothing there. There's no waypoints. There's nothing. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I have to go to that trip. So trips, uh, upcoming trips. I'm going to go to uh, road trip route 66 and tools. Uh, can't find this here. Oh, waypoints. There you go. So waypoints, I'm going to, I want to get the, um, I want to, I want to take the, the list that we've created. So I created the route 66 road, road, Route 66 road trip, and I want to bring that into Cache Tour. So the way that you do that is um, you go down on this list here. You can do this multiple different ways, but right here I'm going to import from a bookmark list. Okay, so bookmark lists, I can see already there's Route 66. So here's all the uh, lists that, that, that you've seen that I had. There's Oklahoma road trip. Interesting cache is the bookmark, but right here is that's the one I want is the route 66 and I click import And it works away. It doesn't take very long um, And it'll bring all of the caches all the cache information into the road trip and Then uh, the caches have been imported. So I'm going to go back up to here uh, upcoming road trips look at this and there you go. All of the road trip, all of the caches from that road trip are in the listing. Now, um, you can order these up in a distance from your destination. So then you can start tailoring it um, to show the very first cache, the second, the third, the fourth. You can also list it alphabetically. Uh, so if you just want to be able to have a, a list on paper, and that's what we do is we print it all out, and uh, um, we then um, oops, let me make sure the time spent planning a sip. Oh, there you go. Yes, Tom. The time spent planning a road trip saves time and lets you get more done on an actual trip. And like you said, it's fun. It, well, it is fun planning. I love planning a road trip. Thanks, Tom. That was a good point. Um, okay, so. From here, uh, we're going to go, I want to show you um, waypoints. I'm going to um, trip. I'm going to edit the waypoints. Okay, this is something that I do. Um, you can move uh, the caches around. So if you think um, you want this one first and that one, so you can adjust it. And then there is a map feature. I don't think it's on oh, no, it's not on that. Um, if you have a... Uh, puzzle cache, a lot of puzzle caches, you can do this. You type in the corrected coordinates for the puzzle cache, and then when you say, when you share this cache tour list to someone else, it will populate the corrected coordinates into their geocaching account so that they don't have to manually type them in one at a time. Learning something new today. Awesome, awesome, I'm glad. Um, and this is not hard work and there's I still can't remember the name of that program. It's uh, uh, the other program people use. It's not project GC. It's I, can't remember. I used to use it. It was so hard uh, Anyway, somebody tell me in the list and I can tell you what it is. So what I'll do right here in the comment section as well um, You can type in so that uh, you're driving down the road and I'll ask uh, Karen uh, what is the next cache and um, this one right here, the, and Jesus wept is actually, I think it's a virtual. So rather than opening up the phone and looking to see what are the uh, qualifications or what do I need, what are the parameters for that virtual cache? What do I need to do? Uh, do I need to stand a certain way? Uh, do I need to phone for a webcam, let's say? Or what questions do I need to answer? And then you can type them in there. Uh, take a picture. That's it, right? And boom, there, you're done. Okay. Um, well, maybe that, there we go. Oh. Um, so you can you can type in all these different things. This over here, um, you can make these priority. So when it shows up on the page, it'll, it'll tell you, uh, like, priority one, it'll give you a bright 
uh, pin. That it means it's an absolute do not miss. Uh, that is a very important cache for whatever reason. Because once you put all these caches in, you'll start to lose track of, uh, well, why did I put that there? I can't remember. Right? So priority one, it'll help you jog your memory of what what was it there for. Um, a priority three might mean, you know, it's it's just another cache. It was just, it was near one that I wanted to get. If we're running out of time, the priority threes are the ones you drop. And that usually what'll happen is um, you'll create a you'll create a road trip. We did this with going south. There were a lot more caches in the list that we had. Uh, that we just never got to because we ran out of time. And any time um, that you plan a road trip, you have to think every single time that you stop, uh, even if it's for a park and grab, it, you're probably going to be spending. Uh, 15 to 20 minutes every single time. If you're driving off the highway and you need to get off on a, on a clover leaf, go over an, uh, one or two concessions or county roads, and then down a mile or two to get a, a, a cache that's really cool, it's going to take you 15 minutes. So if you were going to arrive at your destination at 145, you're now going to be arriving at 2 o'clock. And, and then if you keep adding that, that trip is that destination is going to get further and further away. Um, and so you just got to keep an eye on that. Thank you, Karen. I'm glad you like it. Uh, this is much better for geocaching because it was designed for geocaching. Yes. I love, I would love to know uh, more about um, cache tour uh, or yeah, cache tour. Um, it takes a lot of time for me to edit because I think I, I am missing some, uh, items and how to do it but um uh it's just an awesome awesome thing so uh we said we were going to give oh uh didn't i say i was going to give yes i give that away uh, from a question today uh we are also going to, i'm not going to give away um a cash canada tag randomly from i'm going to look at all of the people that were here today i'm going to randomly pick uh, from that, I'm going to put it on the wheel. I'll do it after we're uh, I'm offline, and um, I'll contact you. Uh, oh, the geocaching vloggers, there. GSAC. Thank you. I could I couldn't remember that to save my life last week. I was racking my brain <laughs> trying to think of what it was. I had GSAC on our computer. I have a few friends that use it, but it was just like it was. I I had so much there was so much brain power that you needed i felt like i was um i felt like i was solving trying to solve a puzzle and i hate puzzle caches and um it is it is an awesome tool i've heard everybody that uses gsac loves it it is a completely awesome uh, tool but it's so much to learn and i just when we were i was trying to look at it and we started vlogging at the same time i just didn't have time uh, i guess i could have learned it now while we were off it could have been something i could have done but i, I didn't find uh, there's no uh, tools or videos to show you how to do it because it was so in depth. But I just I, I dealt with um, road trips on my own way, the way I'm showing you. That's how I do it. Um, if you want to know uh, about GSAC, then you'll have to find somebody that knows because I don't think it's ever going to happen that uh, I'm going to learn it from that. So anyway, I thank you very much for watching tonight. If you want to know more. Uh, and, and see other videos for uh, tutorials that we can do like this, let me know. Uh, let Karen know. Let us send us an email, londonwesty at gmail.com. And uh, I'm sure I will uh, uh, um, get some information for you and we can put something together. I love doing these uh, podcasts. They're really cool. Uh, do you guys use your phone? Oh, um, uh, I would 90% of the time. Um, and that's a question on next not this wednesday's but next wednesday's uh one minute wednesday um i have a little shot of me carrying the phone the, the, the graphic and that's one of the questions i ask is are you a gps user or a phone user 90 percent of the time we use their, our phone uh we will we do take the gps unit with us when we're on road trips we don't usually when we're going around locally because we have such good um uh, phone service um but we'll take the uh, GPS with us when we're on a uh, big full day uh, to help save the phone battery and for accuracy in case we need it. But generally, we don't take the GPS anymore. 
Uh, thank you very much, Tom. Uh, Karen, thank you very much, and always look forward to your comments. Janet, you learned something new. That's awesome. I love it. So, okay, I'm going to choose a winner, and uh, we're going to say goodnight. Where will geocaching take you?